enjoy it. The reason I like to do this, I like to cook. I love to eat. And I love to play. Well, hi there and welcome. I want you to do me a favor here. This is for many different kinds of people. And it's important that you have the opportunity to do what's best for you. You can pause this video and write down the ingredients if you need to, or you can fast forward to the meat of the presentation, so to speak. The ingredients for this one one flank steak. This is called flank and roll steak. One flank steak, a nice big flat one is good. A couple of cups of fresh baby spinach, that's what I use. Feta cheese, probably about a half a cup. Fresh peppers, Portuguese chorizo, if you like that type of a flavor and you know what chorizo is, it's not chorizos. Spices, your favorites. I use a mix of pepper, salt, and a spicy dry rub that I happen to like the taste of. Cooking oil in your pan, a quarter to half a cup. Now preheat your oven, low temperature, 200 degrees. That's all you need. Rare, 40 minutes. Medium rare, 45. Medium, 50. Well done, 60 minutes. You're going to flatten the steak. You're going to flatten the steak. You're going to roll it out nice and flat and tie it with a string and season it and sear it on all sides until it's brown. Add one cup of water to the baking dish, which is a good idea, and add the leftover spices to that water. Now you're going to bake it for a desired time and wellness and then take it out and let it stand for 10 minutes. It kind of finishes cooking and retains the juices and so forth. You slice it and you serve it with whatever veggies or whatever you like and compliments. All the music in this program is original by me, and it comes free with this video, which is on YouTube. Okay, now let's take the steps. Get that steak out. You can tenderize the meat by beating it with a cleaver or other device. Certainly there are devices to make the meat tender. I like to roll it as well and make it nice and flat. Then I like to spread the sliced or crumbled feta over the meat. Now I like to take fresh cut peppers and spread them all over the top of the feta. If you like garlic, get some fresh garlic and use your press. And then cover that whole thing up with spinach and charisse if you want it. That's right, that's the real charisse. Gaspar's is the particular brand. And the spinach is baby spinach, of course, with the stems removed. Kind of mix it up there, almost like a sloppy mess. It's okay. Now the next step is important. You want to roll it as tightly as you can to make a roll. That would be the meat surrounding the veggies that we just cut up. For many people, this is a convenient time to pause the program and tie your meat up. Use a cooking twine, which is available at good kitchen stores, and it's kind of like a string, but it's really a twine, it's a little thicker than string. And um, just tighten it up as much as you can. Don't be afraid to tighten real good. Um, it doesn't matter that a little bit opens up uh, if the flank steak isn't huge, but you're going to pretty soon see how it seals up a little bit. Next thing I do is take my spices that are mixed together, the pepper, the salt, and whatever spice you like, and I pat it into the roast. I actually pat it into the roast itself. Mm -hmm. 
Now we want to sear it in about a half a cup of cooking oil. That's just to brown the outside where the spices are and it helps to seal the meat um, pretty nicely there. That means the juices are gonna be sealed in when it's done. I take any leftover spices, by the way, and I immediately put it on top of the meat. Sometimes I also put a little bit of water in with the meat down below, a quarter cup. Just a little bit of extra moisture. The next thing is to put a couple of slices of butter on the top. Uh, and you can also uh, use uh, other juices and things from hand that we use to sear it. You can actually pour that over it at this point if you'd like to. You put it in the oven for the required time, 45 minutes to about an hour, and let it stand for 10 minutes uncovered. Next, carefully cut the string. Meat should be cool enough to touch, but still nicely warm. Careful you don't burn yourself. Remove that string. Slice it to the desired thickness, and don't worry if the stuffing falls out a little. And as you can see, I like mine very rare. Uh, the chew team would probably beat me up for that. And here you go. Here is my very rare. Beautifully baked, beautifully baked. Empty the juice from the cooking dish, by the way, and use it as the uh, moisturizing gravy. That's why I sometimes put a little water in and around the roast, and then the natural juices will come out as well. Sometimes people also will dip a little bit of bread in that juice along with their meal if you are a bread eater. Then you can simply slice it the way you want, add your favorite vegetables. And you can see here I've got uh, baked beets, acorn squash. And I like those kinds of things very much and turnip as well. So I hope you've enjoyed the presentation and you paused it to be able to complete the steps. Enjoy it. And please visit my YouTube channel, Thomas Piggott, at YouTube. Uh, you'll be able to see many other wonderful recipes, fabulous recipes, I believe. My family has at least told me so. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed it and uh, hope to hear from you soon. If you like some of my music, just contact me. We'll find a way to get it to you. Thanks for listening. This is Tom Piggott, the cooking musician.